Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This video is going to be an emotional one. Um, I promise I'll be back with happy, joyful ones, but I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Um, and it was actually someone messaged me, not messaged me, like, I don't know, Paul on Instagram and someone told me to talk about it, so that's what I'm going to do, so stay tuned. This video is about grieving, so if you've lost someone, how do you grieve, how do you go about it? I lost my mum due to cervical cancer. I lost her in the first pandemic. I lost her on the 26th of the 4th, 2020. So in three months, it's going to be a year, um, which is beyond crazy. But yeah, it's going to be a year. And this year has been really hard for me. It hasn't been the easiest, and I'm not going to lie about that because we... My mum got diagnosed, then got told she was dying, then she died, and the whole COVID situation came around. So yeah, has been easy, to say the least, but you know, we'll get there. I have remained strong um grieving about my mum i don't know how i've done it but i've done it um kept myself busy i have bad days really bad days like today i've had a bad day um really emotional um because some days I go up about my day and I'll go to tell her something and then she's not there. So I backtrack and think she's not there. But sometimes I do talk to myself thinking she's listening. That's another way I grieve. Um, I make video videos, TikTok videos. I do my makeup. People will think I started filming videos just after she died. And people were like, you're selfish. Da, da, da. Why are you filming um, when you've just lost your mum? But then my mum would not want me to sit and dwell over the fact that she's passed. Um, she'd want me to keep myself busy. She'd want me to do what I enjoy doing because my mum was a big fan of my TikToks. She'd say to me, oh, Lucy, have you made have you made a new TikTok today? And I'd be like, yeah, mum. She'd be like, oh, let me see. She was like, I can't wait till you hit this goal, this goal, this goal. So my mum was all for my videos. My mum was all for me doing what I want to do in life. My mum would never stop me from doing what I wanted to do. And I'm living that dream now um, in memory of my mum. So thank you, mum. I know you're not watching, but you are from up there. So yeah, um, people ask me how am I so strong? The reason to that, I don't know. <laughs> my mum was a strong woman, so I think I took it from my mum. <clears throat> I'd say I'm quite reasonably strong. Very strong, actually. Um, 2021 wasn't a good year for me. But at the end of it, it became better for me. Not gonna lie. Um... But yeah, at the beginning of it, it was, it was sad and dull. Um, you can grieve in many ways. Everybody's coping method is different. So I can't tell someone else, someone else how to grieve, but I could lead them advice in, in direction to grieve. Um, but I can't tell them how to grieve or what's right and what's wrong because there's no right or wrong way in grieving. It's how you grieve it's how you interpret your grieving that's the main thing 
If someone tells you that you're grieving wrong, ignore them. You ain't grieving wrong. Sometimes I watch movies, sometimes I listen to music. But I do think if you're not ready, don't look at photos. Don't listen to like voice note or the funeral songs. If you are not ready, because that'll just tip you over to the tipping point. Wait till you feel comfortable, wait till you. Because you want to look at the moments and laugh and smile. Like, if you want to, what? By all means, if you want to look at them, then, then that's you. you. You do you, but I'd say do it when you feel ready and in a comfortable mindset space because you don't want to add more pressure to your brain to make it. You, you know what I'm saying. Um. But yeah, my mum was my best friend and losing my mum, I don't know what I'd do without her to be honest and now she's not here I can't just go and give her a cuddle or I can't just tell her how my day is like I'd go out and I'd come back and she'd be like Lucy how was your day did you enjoy you know I, I, I can't do that anymore now because she's not here. It's sad. But my mum was really poorly and she knew it was going to happen. Um, it was just as and when. Um, when will it happen? She got released from hospital and to die from home because of the first COVID pandemic. She, she said, if I can't be with my children to die at home, then what's the point so then from there her body just deteriorately rapidly but yeah i remember my dad coming into my bedroom on the morning telling me oh your mum's passed away i was i was really devastated i was i was at first i was shocked I went downstairs, oh, I tried to shake her to wake her up. I was like, Mammy, wake up, Mammy, wake up. She wouldn't wake up. I don't know how I'm, uh, I'm talking about this, not crying. I think, I think, I don't, I don't even know how. Um, but I do cry to myself and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I hope this helps people um, because that's what I want to do, I want to help people. I, ho I hope if you, if you have lost a parent or if you are losing a parent, you just know that you're not alone and there are people out there and there's people to help and there's coping methods and stuff. All honesty, when I first lost my mum, I actually used YouTube to help me. I watched other people's videos with other people losing their parents and siblings. So that that how helped me cope a little bit. Then I started to get on my feet. I did go through a drinking problem, but I've stopped that now. That was just like after she died, it was summer. You know, it was all just... So yeah... I've 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 don't drink anymore. I do I do occasionally, but not heavy drinking like I did. I was out. My sister once said like Lucy, you need to stop. You you're just gonna go a bad way. Absolutely right. And then that really made me think I need to. My mum wouldn't want me doing this. So to keep your mind occupied, do things that you love things that you like, things that will just take your mind off it, like arts and crafts, going for a walk. I know we're limited to what we're doing with the pandemic, but just just try. Makeup, I do my makeup. That, that takes my mind off things. 
just stuff like that and i hope this video has helped in in somewhat way i don't know what to say or or you know what i mean but i've, I've tried um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and took your time out to listen to me and a bit of my story i haven't went into full detail maybe do a, a story time on my mum when the time is right and when i feel comfortable but as for now i'm not ready um i've told you a little bit of dribs and drabs but i'm not ready to fully talk about it which is okay because I, need, I still need my closure but anyways yeah that concludes the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope if you are grieving that you've gained some experience or some advice from me um but yeah I've, i hope i've helped you and yeah thank you for listening to me ramble on but yeah thank you bye guys